While many Hollywood stars choose to move from mansion to mansion or buy up properties across the globe, others prefer to have a distinct place to call home over the years, including actress Sharon Stone. She has been living in a stunning West Hollywood estate since she had her breakout in showbiz, so for nearly three decades. Instead of moving on from home to home, Sharon has focused on this property, even giving it a total renovation in recent years. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. American actress, producer, and model Sharon Stone has earned herself a number of awards over her remarkable career, including a Golden Globe for Best Actress and a Primetime Emmy. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Motion Picture Drama are... The winner is Sharon Stone for Casino. Sharon grew up a supremely gifted child and entered the second grade at only five years old. Soon after graduating high school in 1975, Sharon would join the Ford Modeling Agency in New York City and went on to appear in a number of commercials for fast food restaurants and cosmetic companies before booking her first film role in Woody Allen's Stardust Memories. About 10 years later, she'd appear opposite of Michael Douglas in what would become her career-defining picture, Basic Instinct. Come on, you didn't actually think I was going to let that entire scene play out, did you? This is a family show after all. And speaking of family, Sharon has made a point of enjoying her golden years by living in a West Hollywood, California getaway that she bought immediately after her breakout performance. That's right, Sharon has lived in this home for almost 30 years now, and she's not about to give it up anytime soon, especially not after spending four years renovating the property and reinvigorating her entire space. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time seeing where Sharon Stone calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 1992, Sharon Stone's life would change forever after appearing in the erotic thriller Basic Instinct. A gigantic box office success, the film turned a $50 million budget and turned that into a worldwide gross of over $350 million. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, it was. Suddenly, Sharon was one of the most in-demand performers on the entire planet. Of course, there's also two sides to fame, and in Sharon's case, things got creepy fast. She explained to Architectural Digest. All of a sudden, there were crazy stalkers trying to get into my house. The police were there all the time until they finally had enough. They told me to pack a suitcase because they were taking me to a hotel. I had to find a new home that had proper gates. This event would change her life forever as it would lead her to purchasing the West Hollywood home that she still lives in to this day. And thankfully, this new residence, well, it wound up being the perfect place for the actress to continue growing her career and family. At the time Sharon first discovered the property in 1995, the mansion was still under construction. While this meant that Sharon couldn't move in right away, it did allow her to have some say in terms of the architecture. She told Architectural Digest, I worked with the Chateau Restorer to give the place texture and a sense of history. We installed an antique tile floor from Agra in the powder room off of the foyer and brought in the dining room floor from a chateau in Switzerland. In order to recreate her idea of Hollywood's golden age, Sharon would also oversee the installation of the moldings, mantles, and other details that she says were essential to the integrity of the space. Once the home was completed in the mid-90s, Sharon would finally move in with her then-husband, San Francisco Examiner editor Phil Bronstein. But Sharon's days of shaping her home were far from over. After living in her West Hollywood home for close to two decades, Sharon had a chance encounter with interior designer Douglas Truesdale. While waiting in line at their local gym for a protein shake, the two struck up a conversation and, well, they quickly became close friends. After nearly a four-hour dinner at one of Sharon's favorite bars, she finally popped the question to Douglas. She wanted him to help her redesign her home. Douglas said yes. Before long, these two had taken their platonic relationship to the next level and began discussing fabric samples for Sharon's guest house. Recalling this moment in their relationship, Sharon said, we worked so well together and had so much fun that I decided we should do the rest of the house. And that's exactly what they did. They started with the pool area. 
Decking out this exterior space with trees, flower pots, and vines that crawl all up and around the side of her house, Sharon's backyard now includes a luxurious sitting area with a gigantic couch and a glamorous chandelier. After taking care of the exterior, Sharon and Douglas moved to the inside, but they would take their time with the process, slowing things down and renovating over a period of four years to focus on everything from paint colors and fabrics to the layout of the room. For instance, on the main floor, the pair added a partial wall with mirrored pocket doors that divides the humongous living room into two distinct zones. In other words, Sharon can entertain friends on the more formal side, while her three sons, Aron, Laird, and Quinn, goof around with one another in the room right next to them. After reinventing the living room, Sharon and Douglas moved into the kitchen. They wound up totally rebuilding this space from the ground up with a gray towel floor and the addition of new stainless steel appliances like that gigantic oven. And did you spot those gorgeous velvet armchairs? chairs that decorate Sharon's breakfast nook. Next, they revitalize the dining room by installing contemporary lights and a hair on hide rug. But as far as the most jaw-dropping space in the entire house goes, it might very well be the front foyer, where the hall features a stunning chandelier, an antique bookcase. By the time it came to reimagining her master suite, Sharon went all in. Now glamour and comfort go hand in hand in this space, which I mean considering whose bedroom is, it totally makes sense. Step inside Sharon's bedroom and you'll find silk rugs, chairs covered in shaggy white Mongolian lamb hides, sofa upholstery that shimmers like diamonds, and a seriously show-stopping bathroom. After almost half a decade of reinventing her home, Sharon finally finished the job and then invited Architectural Digest over to show everything off for a photo shoot. Since then, Sharon has continued to share pictures and videos of her home with her many fans on social media. especially during the trying times we all just went through with the pandemic. Whether Sharon's spending time with her three young adopted sons, or welcoming other members into the family like her French bulldog bandit, I can tell you this much, Sharon has never looked happier. Well, that about wraps up our Sharon Stone house tour. What did you guys think of Sharon's abode? Is it everything you imagined it would be? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get direct access to more content just like this. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.